Okay, this demonstration is for the seventh graders that are going to be doing the op art project. Now, um, we are currently on the third step. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm gonna walk you through step three and we'll continue from there. Okay, so if you are looking so far, what you should have on your paper, as far as steps one and steps two, you have this one done right here. And that's what you uploaded yesterday to me on Canvas. That was steps one and two. Now, the next steps require you to make three more lines on your paper. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go one, two, and then three. And again, yours can be in random spots. It does, we don't have to have them all um, exact like mine because we want them to all to turn out differently. And then what you're gonna do, if you remember, we did the two points right here and then we started our C shape and then our backward C. So we need to repeat that here and then you need to repeat that there, there, and there. So if you look, I basically just put dots on every line um, with each spot. Now from there, what I'm gonna do is again, start that letter C shape and then that backward C shape. And then I'm gonna do, this one's really small down here, C shape, backward C, and then this is kind of unique. When we go off the page here, you don't have to stop here. You can actually choose to go off the page. And you can see I'm just closing off all those spaces. And then that one goes off the page for sure. And then what you'll continue to do is make your backward C's and your regular C's. So now you can see I'm just gonna start up here. Everything's gonna go off the page, but I still need to put in for the lines. The regular C shape, again, I'm starting at the bottom and it's going off the page. Okay, so that's one other completed. And now I just fill it up Backward C, regular stretched out C. There, and then from there, I'm going to continue and fill, even if it's a tiny spot, you wanna get that filled in. And I'm doing these tiny spots. Be careful on this, doing the, the C's and the backward C's. What I saw from some students yesterday was this. So you got your line, you got your other line, and then we did dots, dots, stretched out C, stretched out C. What I saw some people doing is going like, just going like this. Okay, it's not that. You have to make it stretched out. So if you watch where I'm starting, every time I'm starting from where I left off and I'm stretching out that C. This is a no, this is a yes. So make sure you're not just doing quick dashes like that. They need to be kind of like a crescent moon shape. All right, so when you are done with step three, this whole paper will be filled and it will look something like this. So step three completed will look something like this, only yours will probably have a different design. 